Welcome. Welcome to the Sean Farrell podcast. I am Sean Farrell. God is great all the time. All the time, God is great. Let's not waste no time, shall we? Let's get right. How you doing? And so, um, I made a video the previous week um, about the holiday season, how this is the time of year where a lot of people feel alone, even when they're surrounded by hundreds of people, even when they're surrounded by just a small group of friends, family members or whatever. And um, so I made a, a short, what they call a, um, I guess you can call it what a um, YouTube short or something like that. Um, and I just talked briefly about how I was thinking about Everybody who could not be with their loved ones on Thanksgiving and how I'm thinking about them. And I think I mentioned this, how I was thinking about the ones who will be surrounded with family members, but they just feel so alone They just feel no nothing. They feel numb. Um, so, um, there has been some depressive feelings that I cannot, that I'm having trouble shaking. Um, It's been there pretty much the whole week. And, um, it has not gone away. And, which leads me to, um, what I wanted to talk about. No, there really is no topic to today. It's just, no speaking from the heart today so there is no real topic it's just me speaking what sometimes I feel um some of the things that I think um so I do have my water on standby right here um, because my mouth will get hit dry. And um, when I talk for long periods of time, my mouth seems to go bone dry. So I got my water on standby. So, but anyway, <clears throat> you know, um, a few years ago, um, a friend who I let, who uh, watched some of my um, videos, um, I gotta make this screen time last longer, yeah, anyway, so, I asked a friend what was a few things that she noticed about me, and She had viewed my videos and said that I had did a good job, which meant a whole lot. And one of the things that I asked her again was, what are some of the things that you notice that I may not notice? And she said, well, 
oftentimes when you're talking to me, you rarely make eye contact. You have trouble keeping eye contact. And so, um, I remember a counselor telling me this one time. Um, she always brought up the fact that when she's like, well, whenever I mention this or whenever I mention this, you put your head down for like a second or two. It's like, oh, she's like, oh, when I mention this, you sort of put your head down for a second. So, um, so yeah. And I find myself sometimes thinking to myself, what what am I doing? In your mind, you're in my mind, I say to myself, what am I doing? What am I doing? And depression just grips you so hard. It's sort of like a rock sea cement wall. And an example of this happened the other day when I was having a, a conversation with someone and I was, we were, you know, texting back, back and forth and, um, And you want to, you want to text, you want to show that you're, that you're always available or whatnot. You're interested. So you want to text that person, but there's like a, Cement wall. It's like a cement wall is built up. Okay. A cement wall is built up. And. It's like the wall is split in two. And this side is depression. And this side is anxiety. Okay. So you got your depression side of the wall saying, I want to text such and such, but, but I can't. Then the anxiety part of the wall says, well, what if you don't? then what will what will she think then then your anxiety goes from asking one question to million okay what is she going to think of you what if she thinks this what if she thinks that what if she what if she Stop, stop, stop talking to you. So it's sort of like a forced response. So it's like when you message somebody. When your anxiety is talking, it's almost like a forced re response. You have to respond. But 
when you do respond, it's just like you feel worse. It's like you feel even worse. Um, and so, No, there's not a day that goes by <clears throat> that I still think that I'm not a broken record. That I think I sound like a broken record. There's not a day that goes by that, um, no, I just say to myself, is it ever going to happen? happen it, it is it ever going to get hit better is this really going to happen is that really going to happen is this going to work out and I cannot tell you the number of times where I've said to myself mentally it's all over it's over for me and if you don't know what I mean when I say it's over I mean suicide So, um, will it ever get better? That's what I say to myself. That's what I say to myself. Um, <clears throat> there's just some real intense lonely, frigid, cold days mentally that let's be young and gotta be true, truthful there are some days where I just want to say excuse my language excuse my language but there are just some days where I want to say Fuck it. I'm going to end my life right this second. I am going to end my life right now. I feel like ending my life. I feel like ending my life right now. Feel like ending my life right now. The only thing is, but the key word in all of that is feel. I feel like it. Doesn't quite doesn't mean that I will actually follow through with it because um no no you know um just speaking from the heart like I'm doing right now. You know, um, I feel worse, but, um, maybe in a 
few few hours. I won't won't feel as as bad as I or worse as I do. And um, no, there are several several days where um, oftentimes where um, I don't believe I still deserve good good things I still don't believe that I deserve good things And um, that's the depression. That's pretty much the depression talking. And um, and um, you know um. And yes, there are times where I just say to myself, where, well, not necessarily say hey to myself, but what, what, See, this is what depression does to you. Brain fog. Brain fog. It's like your a brain is trapped in a web. You can't think. You can't have think clearly. And just say to myself, what a miserable, what a miserable fucked up failure I am okay okay this is what I battle with 24-7-365 you gotta fight off intrusive thoughts like I just told you you gotta fight off dark thoughts you gotta fight off fatal thoughts aka sue thoughts of suicide you gotta fight these off every single day and when you're fighting these thoughts every single day you just want to say to yourself, F it. I'm not going to fight no more. Just say, F it. I'm not going to fight no more. You know, um, Creed has a song and it's called, um, One of my favorite songs. And it's called Weathered. And um, he has a line in there that says, Ashes to ashes and dust to dusk or something like that. Sometimes I feel like giving up. I said, sometimes I feel like giving up. And, um, by the way, the name of that song is called Weather. Um, you know, the song is called Weather. And so, um, that drives out 
you know, that drives out those fatal thoughts that I may be having about my, myself or about the fact that I consider myself a heavy ass burden to other people around me. Um, but there is a song by Danny Goki. I hope I didn't butcher his name. I didn't hope he, I didn't butcher his, his, his name. Um, um, he has a song called Maybe You Just Haven't Seen Ain't It Yet. And, um, many of you probably don't know who Blanca is either. Um, She's a um, Christian artist, as is Danny Goki is. And um, she has a song called, you know, Greater Is He. And Along with that, boy, do they ever, boy, do those, boy, do those me, does that music ever help? Boy, does that music ever help? And, um, there's a line of Danny Gokey song, um, maybe you just haven't seen it yet. You're closer than you think you are. Don't ever lose hope. And so, um, let me tell you something. I've lost hope sometimes. I've lost hope sometimes. But, um, I know I've shown you all this rock before, but I'm going to show it to you again. <clears throat> Hope. Hope. Um, also, um, what I got sitting right here. Um, the, uh, the uh, semicolon, the sem the semicolon that I received at the as a birthday present um, in twenty twenty one, I believe, if I'm not I'm mistaken. In twenty twenty one, I believe. So, um, yo, choose to keep choose to keep going. Um. You know, so um, I'm pretty sure um, the people who are going to be watching this think I sound like a bro. Oaken record. And maybe y'all won't, won't think that. But that's my anxiety talking. You know. No, that has my anxiety talking, pretty much. Um, but and besides, I had to share her I have on. <laughs> Victory is mine. So, um, <laughs> um, but yeah, you know, I just want to speak from. Just wanted to speak from the uh, heart for a little bit. Um, luckily, I, my mouth didn't go dry because I have my heart with me. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, yeah. Um, Yeah. 
so um, um, I know I'm probably gonna scare. I know I probably scared a lot out of people when I told y'all um, that I feel like ending my life right now. But um, you know. But again, the key E word, feel, you know, All right? I've been talking for about talking straight for about 25 minutes and, um, but yeah. No, some <clears throat> one of the other things that I ask is what the hell is wrong wrong with me? No. What the hell is wrong with if me? You know, This is what depression does us to you. This is what depression does us to you. But, you know, there's always hope. There's always hope, so. You know, I can just, you know, Two things I can leave, he you know, there's a like God and hope. So, but there are just some real yeah, yeah. As a matter of fact, um, you know, I think I've run ahead of work first to uh, say so. Anyway, I, I just wanted to speak from on the um. I just want to speak from speak from the heart despite how broken I may it, it feel inside so um just want to speak from on from the heart and um I will see you all soon peace out y'all god bless